In this video I'm going to show you how you can make an exclamation mark follow it clan with Streamlabs Cloudbot. My name is Tree and I make streaming support videos. Stream smarter, not harder. But before I begin, I stream every Tuesday and Friday, 8pm Central European time on twitch.tv slash Tree. Hop in and ask anything about streaming. What we want to do is go to streamlabs.com and log in with your Twitch. Click on Dashboard if you're already logged in. On the left side we see Features. Here we search for Cloudbot. Click on that. Then we go to Commands, here in the top, and add Command. Here we see Templates. Click on the Templates and then select Follow Age. We see a message automatically pop up where it says to username has been following channel name for to user follow age. These parts between the curly brackets are part of a code. So the first thing is the code of the person who does the command. The second one is your own name and the third one is the actual follow age. So here you can leave this as it is and it will be fine. You can also change it to to username has been part of Bam. So now it says um, the user. So for example, if one of my viewers Blurt did this, Blurt has been part of Tree's fam for and then his follow age, which probably is going to be a couple of years. <laughs> but you can make this text anything you like, as long as you keep these parts in. Uh, the, the name of the person who does the command and the follow age are the most important. This is just your name. If you don't want that in, you can keep that out. You can also just delete it and type your name. It will result in the same thing. But if you ever plan to change your name, it's better to keep the code instead of like typing your name because then it will change with the name change. Here we have a reply in chat. We got two ways of doing this. One is in chat and then everybody will see it just in your Twitch chat. Or we can click here and uh, do whisper. And then if somebody does follow age, they get a whisper from the bot saying that well, this, the response, so how long they have been um, following for. So if you don't want that kind of spam in your chat, you can set it on Whisper, but usually people leave it on chat. And then permission everybody, because you want everybody to be able to check that follow age. We also got some advanced options here. We got a global cooldown. This is a cooldown for everybody in chat. For example, if you set this to 10, now in the chat, we can only trigger this command every 10 seconds. Whoever types it doesn't matter, but it can only trigger every 10 seconds. Now the user cooldown is a little bit different. Here it is this person. So if we set a cooldown on this one, for example, 20 seconds, now this one person that just did the command can't do the command for 20 seconds. But as you see, the global cooldown is only 10. So other people can start doing it after already 10 seconds. Then we have costs here. Leave that empty because that is um, the loyalty point cost of Streamlabs loyalty system and you don't really want people to use points for this. And then aliases you can make this whatever you want but this is an alternative way to trigger the command. So uh, what can we do? Follow time maybe. Exclamation mark follow time and then add. Now every time somebody says exclamation mark follow time or exclamation mark follow age this command will trigger. We also have keywords. This can be anywhere in the sentence so if we make this follow, um, follow and then add, every time somebody says the word follow, this command will trigger. You might already think, well, this is a little bit spammy tree. It is, so I would not recommend doing this for this command at all. And then we click on confirm. Make sure that the command is on, this one needs to be to the right, like it is right now, and that the bot is on, also this needs to be to the right. Now we're gonna have to go to our channel. And then we need to go to our chat. Type slash mod stream labs and then enter. Now Streamlabs is a moderator of your channel and it can do a lot more for you. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test the command with my other account because I can't follow myself and do you exclamation mark follow age on my phone. <laughs> and then as you see uh, my other account has been following me for 10 months and 3 weeks right now. If you want to learn more about Streamlabs commands, I got a lot more tutorials about them. So just hop into this playlist with me and I will see you there.